Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. In today's video, we are going to go shoot a Scion FRS with a Varus wide body kit and its big brother, the Toyota Supra, which I've never shot before. And we're only gonna use our cell phone. A lot of you guys have been asking me for tips and tricks on how to shoot with just your mobile device. So I'm gonna tell you all the settings that I use, how I might compose a photo, and as well, some of like the ways I would set up my background. So I'm super excited to show you guys that, so come along. And one of the most exciting things, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, is that we have our first sponsor. So stay tuned for that because I'm super excited about it. Okay, let's go shoot. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm using the native iPhone app. Now in there, you can shoot raw. So I don't know if this is just a feature for iPhone 12 Pro, but if it isn't on your phone, you can also get an app called the Moment app, and it unlocks a whole bunch of features that you guys can use. Unfortunately, you don't use it for Android, so it's still iPhone only. So if you wanna change your settings in your camera, I'm gonna show you guys what I have set up in my phone. So you're gonna go into your settings, tap the camera, and for me, I make sure I can shoot in raw. So I'm gonna go into formats, make sure that my Apple Pro Raw is selected. And as you can see, it's a 12-bit file, which is pretty insane and shoots at higher megapixel than some of the Sony cameras, which is kind of mind blowing. And you can see that it's actually an incredible image coming out of the phone. And then going down, if you guys are new to automotive photography or photography at all, there's also this grid here, which is gonna help us with our composition that we're gonna get into next. And then if you use this little drop down menu, you can get a few more options. And one thing that for me, I always try and keep my highlights properly exposed. And this is one way you can do that is just drop that exposure meter down and that'll keep all of your highlights in your frame now if you just follow me down here I'll show you one thing I do here as well now one real trick you want to do is tap on the screen and hold your finger down and this will give you auto exposure lock and auto focus lock and then from there you can tap and drag and set your exposure now for me this is the best way to make sure that I'm properly exposing for my photos So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I pick a background. So as you can see, we've got a beautiful building here behind the Toyota Supra. And I'm gonna show you how I line that up on my phone. So come check this out. So we've got a really nice building, but I wanna make sure that all the leading lines are drawing towards the car. And one thing to avoid too with your backgrounds is if you look back there, there's some like weird signage we wanna kind of keep out of it. So as best as we can, we're just gonna line this up. And you see I've got my grid on. And I'm gonna try and line the car up on one of those grids. And then you just snap away. Okay, so for the next part, we're gonna talk about composition. Now with composition, I highly recommend if you're posting to Instagram, and a lot of the time we are when we're using our phones, posting vertically, we wanna center the car in our frame. So if you take a look here, I'm gonna center the car in my grid. I actually don't like this angle quite as much as I like this. It shows off a few more of the curves of the car. So I'm gonna snap that. And then get high, get low, walk around the car, try different angles, walk away, get low. Okay guys, so I am so absolutely stoked because this is our first sponsored video and it is by these guys here called Fixed. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I've been testing this product for a long time and I can honestly tell you it's already saved me hundreds of dollars. If you own a car, one of those or one of those or any car that's made after 1996 this will plug into your car plug this little guy in underneath the steering wheel and it'll do a diagnosis of your car and let you know if there's anything wrong with it if you ever get a check engine light on your car you can clear the check engine light with this sensor as well as give you helpful YouTube videos on maybe how you could fix it or how much it might cost and with some of the premium features, you can actually call a mechanic. They'll tell you what's exactly wrong with your car and possibly how much you can expect to pay at a mechanic so you don't actually get ripped off. So the Fix guys are hooking you up with this sensor. Typically it's $60. They're gonna give it to you guys for 20 bucks and that includes shipping. So it's Father's Day and this is an incredible gift for your dad, your brother, your sister, your mom, whoever. So make sure to check these out in the link below and get one for your dad today. All right, we're getting ready for a wee flyby here. So we got a flashed beauty of a Supra about to show us some love. So let's see how this thing sounds. <laughs> Cars are fun.
<laughs> Bro! <laughs> so if you guys are wondering where the Car Creative Channel is going to go, I'm kind of hoping it's going to go a little bit in this direction. Fingers crossed, no promises. We're still a young channel here, but if you guys want to know what gets me going, that's a little, little Scion FRS action, 86 BRZ, who, who knows? quick tip when you're out shooting and you're using your cell phone these don't have the biggest sensors but what I highly recommend is backlighting your subject or putting them in a shady area like we have right here so I'm gonna show you guys how I shoot this though it's a very bright background I'm gonna get nice and low and make sure that we have all the detail in our shot so we're gonna bring the highlights right down and then get the shot and I'll show you the final product afterwards so I'm gonna tap the screen and just drag that sun down just to make sure that we have all the highlights in. Now if you guys are struggling with any of your editing, I am going to do a follow-up video using Lightroom Mobile directly after this. Make sure to go check out my Lightroom presets down below. They're on sale for you guys. I'll leave the code right here and you guys can go get those for a quick discount. But otherwise guys, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions on shooting on mobile, shooting with cameras. If you're into this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we do stuff like this all the time. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this and otherwise I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you. I love you. Make sure to go check out those guys at Fixed because they're giving me an incredible opportunity uh, and helping me do what I love to do. So thank you guys for supporting me. Make sure to go support them because they support me. Make sure to go follow Chad because he's the freaking man and he's helping us with all the b-roll and all the behind the scenes and both of the guys that I'm shooting for today I'll leave their Instagrams down below absolutely beautiful cars and really cool guys too so Ooh, that's a nice sound so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day see ya